Hey there everybody, Robert Taylor with Wonderscape Creations, continuing on with our ACF Ultimate series. Uh, now getting into the quest and dialogue portion of things. Uh, it also includes the finite state machine as that is an integral part uh, with the quest and dialogue uh, in some respects, not in all. Uh, but it's definitely uh, where we are going to start uh, because as you noticed, you know, you know what, let me just check that out for now. I'm going to hit play in the top right. Introduction to ACF. Talk to ACF guy. Obviously, we aren't in that level, so that needs to change. Uh, so we are going to go over where all of that stuff is. So if you open up your player controller, if you're in Ultimate or the full sample, you'll have your own controller in there. It's not the full sample. Ultimate, because Ultimate the only one has both. <clears throat> the finite state machine you will find right here, ASM, FSM. And within it, you will find the state machine graph right here. So if we open it up, here is what a graph, uh, the finite state machine graph looks like. It's very basic. Uh, this is what you'll find in most games. I won't be modifying, adding, or changing anything in this. Um, well, most of anything in this. Uh, because uh, this is very much a per-game thing. Uh, and it's very much you do things as you need. I'm just going to make sure you understand how everything works. So when you right-click, you get the ASM start node and then the uh, state node. So you always obviously want to start with the start. <clears throat> when there's nothing clicked, can rename nodes. So right now, uh, they have names. If I click on them, and it name right here. And here in the FSM start, and with all of them, you'll see these. Uh, you have the state <clears throat> and their blueprints, and I'll be going over a bunch of them in a moment. <clears throat> they each have their own you know, things to do. So new game, so it's uh, gameplay tags, new game, and load. Loading screen removal, you choose the, uh, how long the loading screen is there. Um, find it to be very helpful. Now when you click on these, <coughs> excuse me, transition tag, so you're able to determine what the transition is so FSM start to new game does FSM new game. This one does load because you're loading a game. And then you have FSM end game because you're going to end game. So it is very logical in how things load for your game. Um, now, here in new game, which is what we're going to change, well, we're going to make. I'm going to duplicate this. No, I'm not going to duplicate it because duplicating is bad. Um, before the next episode, I'm going to recreate this with my own graph. Uh, identical. You don't want to duplicate because there's sometimes a known bug where stuff you've removed uh, will some for some reason still show up. And uh, the only way for that to not happen is to not duplicate something like this. So don't do it. Create from scratch if it's a graph. <clears throat> We're not sure why it does it. Can't figure it out. So here in new game, as you can see, we have the quest dot learn about ACF. So that's why uh, the quest loads. If you don't want a quest at start, you would leave this empty and allow the player to discover the quest as they go. Um. I encourage you to look into all of these because as you can see, some of them <clears throat> have different, uh, what's we're looking for, have different requirements and whatnot. This one brings up the, the uh, death menu widget. Uh, so like I said, this is very powerful, very simple, and very important. So... With that, we are going to quickly go over a few of these blueprints <clears throat> to help you better understand how these work, uh, this whole thing works.
So FSM start. I don't have open. Which is because I don't have that right. Where is it? FSM in its game. There it is. So this will, uh, as you can see, is an ASM base FSM state. <clears throat> so this allows you to define what each of them is. Event on enter, and then you go to the overrides on exit, on transition, and on update. So there's plenty for you to do, uh, to work with, I, I should say. And as you can see, it gets uh, get game user settings, loads the settings, uh, sets the resolution, applies everything. And this literally is where you do the code for your game starting up. And then, of course, when you're loading a game event on enter, then uh, he created an event for on loaded. And then you have the game menu. So it just widget to show which in this currently says none because you set that up in this widget to show pause menu. That's what that one is. <clears throat> so they all have different use cases and they're all very important to understand. Uh, so you need to make sure you go through all of these. Uh, the easiest way to find them is to go to this graph, which you can get to from your player controller. Uh, they're also under the integrations folder under FSM. There they all are. Um, I can't claim to understand and know everything about it, but I wanted to make sure you understood where everything was at so that you can uh, have your game functioning the way you want as far as transitioning between states. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're willing and able, you can always buy me a coffee or join my Patreon. Have a great day.